So in the previous video, we have seen how to create a solid platform and one way platform. And we also talked about dropping player from one way platform. And now in this video, we will look at how to create this self destruct platform, which will destroy on landing after a couple of seconds. So this platform is going to be in a separate scene with a static body 2D as a root node. Then I'm going to rename it to single use platform and then save the scene. After that, we will add one collision ship 2D and a sprite 2D node. Now I have this platform image with cracks on it and I got this image from Kenny's website. I will leave the link in the description. Now set the collision shape to cover the entire sprite. And after that, we need to detect when our player lands on it. So for that, we need one area 2D node followed by a collision shape 2D. Then set the collision shape just above the platform similar to how I am doing. After that, we will need one timer node so that we can calculate how long we want to shake the platform. Once you added all of these, it's time to create a script for the platform. Also, we will connect the body inter signal from the script as well. Now inside the script, we will first create the ready function and inside it, we will set the process to false. Then we create a time variable and set it to one. Now inside the process function, we will just increase the time and then move the position of the sprite up and down using the sign function. Now, if you remember, this is the exact same thing which I used in this video to create the shake effect. Now inside the body intent function, we will check if the collided body is indeed a player. Then we will set the process to true and start the timer for 0.7 seconds. Now it will work something like this. First, as soon as the game is start, this ready function will turn off the process function. Then when the player lands on the platform, it will trigger this function and here we are turning on the process again. So now our sprite will start to shake. Now when the timers run out, we want to stop the process function to stop the shake. So for that, we first connect the timeout signal from the timer node and here we will simply delete the platform. And if you play the game, you will see everything's work fine. But simply deleting the platform looks kind of weird. And that's the reason we need to add some particle effect when it get deleted. So add one GPU particles node. Now in the asset pack, there are some debris image which I took and added them in a single sprite sheet. Then I'm gonna put this sprite sheet in the texture property. Now to select any one of the sprite out of these three, go into the materials, then add one canvas item material, then inside it, turn on the particles animation and set the number of horizontal frames, which is three in this case. After doing that, add particles material and inside it, you will find one animation section. There you need to set the offset max to one. Now by doing that, it will select any one of this image out of these three randomly. Then here are all the values that I changed to create this effect. You can pause the video and take a look. After setting the particle material, we will set the amount to five and come down in the time section and set the one shot to true and explosiveness to one. And that's it. Your particles are ready. Now all is left is to control its emission through code. So inside the timer timeout function, instead of deleting the entire platform, we will first check if the process function is running or not. And if it is running, then we will set the process to false. After that, we will emit the particles that we just created. And then we will also delete the area 2D node so that we don't trigger this function twice. After that, we will also remove the collision shape and sprite 2D node so that our player will start to fall. And finally, we will again start the timer for 1.2 seconds because we need to wait for particles to complete their animation. So after 1.2 seconds, we will enter in the else part and here we will simply delete everything. And that's it. You have successfully created self-destruct platform for your game. In the next video, we will look into how to create moving platform with your own custom path. So subscribe and turn on notification to get notified. And as always, if you have any doubt or suggestion, write down in the comment section and I will try to solve it. So once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.